A Southside Mexican restaurant got a failing score when health inspectors visited last month, and now that business has a new name and new owners. The night team's Tim Gerber talked to the new owner to find out what happened behind the kitchen door. Claudia's restaurant in the 1300 block of Pleasanton Road saw its previous score of 94 tumble all the way below failing, getting a 67 on their April inspection. Cooked meat was improperly cooled, a jar of mayonnaise was left sitting on a shelf, while several other foods were also sitting out waiting to be prepped. It should all be kept cold. Avocados found under raw chicken were discarded. The microwaves and cold holds were dirty and the inspector watched a worker touch their face who then proceeded to handle food. Another big problem, the business had been operating without a valid permit since last year. I stopped by this week to see if they've made corrections. Can I talk to somebody about your recent inspection? Co-owner Valeria Santos had a pretty good explanation for the failing score. We changed the name. Okay. That was before us. Santos said she recently bought the business with her mother, who was a cook for Claudia's. She said the inspection occurred before they took over. This is us. But we're waiting for inspector to come on for us. Santos showed me they have all the required permits in the new name, Lindsay's Cafe. They're still waiting for their first health inspection and are in the process of changing the name on the business. Las Minas Cafe in the 3800 block of Blanco Road earned a 75 and another inspection after racking up several violations. Cooling units for food and drinks were too warm. Dishes used to plate food still had water on them. Employees were touching ready-to-eat foods with bare hands. Raid bottles in the kitchen needed to be removed and so did all the stuff blocking a hand-washing sink. They were also storing several utensils in a pitcher of water at room temp. It needs to be 135 or higher. The inspector left a long list of items to be corrected for the reinspection. <laughs> the Chili's at 131 Southwest Loop 410 got an 82. They were improperly using ice to cool off cooked sausage. There was a black mold-like buildup in the ice machine. An employee used bare hands to put bacon on a burger that was served to a customer. Other workers weren't wearing hats and hairnets. The inspector also noted the entire place was in need of a deep cleaning, especially the kitchen, to remove dirt and food residue. A reinspection was ordered. For BKD, I'm Tim Gerber, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.